Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you once again with some more from the depths. Going to be continuing where my campaign left off last time. Let me make sure which one it is. 1657, that would be correct. Let me load that where we're building my lovely new battleship. Hopefully, it'll turn out to be really nice. I'll have to plop it down, then scavenge a lot of its parts, but hey. Anyway, let me see what I can find. Whoops. Or see if I can find dead center. I believe this is roughly dead center. Now, a lot of people have been telling me to use mirror mode, which is, of course, build, then N. And I'm assuming if I build on either side of that, it will build on the other side like so. Correct. Okay, now I hadn't used mirror mode that often because it, you know, was slightly confusing in exactly how it freaking worked. But now I can, you know, understand a little better. Obviously, I've already had it built up on the other side here, so this is not going to do anything. Oh, wow, that's actually perfect. So yes, this is what mirror mode would do. I need to just find the center line and then build on one side and it's good. This would have saved me a lot of time if I'd used it properly. I did not. That's my bad. That is my bad. What can you do? People make mistakes. <laughs> okay. So, built. Perfect. Beautiful. Sexy. Now, let me shut that off for a moment. Or just get out of the build menu first. Okay. Now... Someone was mentioning a couple of different things for one. Let me go on this little barge over here. Well, not barge, but my ship. I'm going to create a little dock here. Alright. Now, let me see if I can find this unit. Misk. Tractor beam, tractor beam, where forth are thou, tractor beam? Docking station. Here we go. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there we go. Ha! Ah! Hold distance, move that hold distance a little bit away. Bit away. So I was like, what the hell? This thing is like flying everywhere. Okay. Alright. Woo! That was a bit awkward for a second there. Saw so the whole thing like saw like flying away. I'm like, oh god, oh god, no, 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 no. Oh man. So we now have a nice stable building platform. Now, I was showing off before, you know, roughly how to build a sub with this vehicle over here. Now, I did not entirely get that correct in what I was, you know, trying to do. Part of what I missed, of course, other than building the hydrofoils and everything, was an item in control, the complex controller. Now, if I didn't for the longest time understand how the hell this thing worked, and I still don't know entirely how it works. Uh, essentially, what you do, though, is... Let me see if I can find a pump. You build that, and you go and find yourself the air pumps, wherever the heck the air pumps happen to be stored. I believe I have a bunch of them up front here somewhere. Kind of, maybe, sort of. There we go. Now, you'd select your pump and tell it, say, I want to use O to interact with this, with this vehicle. Or with this object. I want to spread all, to all touching similar components. Which hopefully would mean that it would spread it to every single one on the ship. Okay. Let me see if that is true by whoops, going to the other side. Might not be. Either way, you would select each of these, and then, yep, that one works. So it has to literally be touching them. Okay. So once you've done that, let me see if I can find any more in here somewhere. Wherever I've stored all these. If I go into this now, I might actually say something for that. Nope. So if I hit O, it's supposed to disengage. That's what I'm, you know, trying to mess around with this for because it's not really all that specific about how to do it. And even the person that was trying to describe, you know, the using of this 
didn't really go into detail about how exactly you're supposed to tell it what to do because you can spread it to advanced options and you can control it with O but what does the control do how you designate exactly you know what it's supposed to do that is the issue and that is what it, I cannot for the life me figure out if I could figure that out how to use this thing completely with that then it would be you know really easy to set up a sub and then have it you know disconnect this at any time disconnect the actual uh, or disconnect stop using the water pumps at any time which could cause the object to sink but unless I know that I can't do shit with that so yeah anyway um this ship this ship this ship this ship how can we oh and I'm falling off the back or the front is this the back or the front no this is the back and fly for freedom okay let me get on the back of this beast let me go water want to get some huge propellers on here I don't want to do this you know make this too Boat propeller? No, boat rudder is what I need. Unbalanced, otherwise the whole thing wouldn't work too well. Let me get rid of those for a second. Trying to place them in the good spots here. Okay, huge propellers. Alright then, so be it. Up one. And there we go. So we have our propellers back here. Looks beautiful. Now, I'm eventually going to have to get an AI core and everything else. And I could even turn this into a giant battleship sub if I could figure out the exact, you know, difficulties with the complex controller. Because there's no real description. It said, you know, kept saying, you know, well, everything's there in the tooltips. And that's bullcrap, you know. It's very... It gives you basic, basic information, but... With a lot of things like the laser setups and such, it doesn't give more explicit information exactly of how things need to be hooked up. That's why we need examples. Anyway, let me take a look and just see how my prefab is going to be fitting on this thing. Well, let me find the center line first. Okay, here we go. Center line's right here. Now, let's go into constructor and no, sub object. Massive triple turret. Hmm. I probably don't have enough for it. More than likely. Oh god, no. This thing's made of ridiculous amounts of metal. So let me actually deal with that issue. Because that is a big problem. We just don't have enough metal to sustain this thing properly. And I need to have something that would work. So let me save the game for a second. Save. Over slot 1. Okay, let's go to main menu. So I'm basically going to Im well, improve, I say. But all I really mean is alter the design. Single player, vehicle designer. Alright, let's go wood block, wood beam for a second, enable mirror mode. I gotta create a platform that's stable enough to hold this giant gargantuan beast. You can see, even having massive wings like this, it just, it does increase the stability eventually. But you really need to create something crazy. I guess in that regard, though, I could even eventually turn that thing into a flying battleship if I really wanted to with some minor alterations. Okay, hopefully, hopefully that's enough to sustain this thing. Sub-object. Yeah, 
just barely, barely enough to keep this thing afloat. Alright. Shall we? Let's start removing all the armor. Probably the biggest issue is all these lead blocks, but there's a reason for these lead blocks. It is the way, it is the reason why it is so goddamn heavy, but it's also keeping this thing from uh, damaging itself, I should say, or from moving too much. It's basically a stabilizing agent for this for this cannon. So its weight is there for a reason. But uh, this thing is just ridiculous. It really is. As I kind of want this thing to be, you know, fully armored like this. And I am going to have to leave some of those lead blocks to keep the stabilization in place. But I just can't afford it. To be this uh, metal heavy. Right now. So I think I'm just going to strip it down as much as I dare. Pretty much just the entire back of the thing like this. Leave most of the front intact. I'm going to have to rebuild this bit, it looks like. Let's go... Metal blocks, metal blocks. Yeah, uh, wait, no, that wasn't lead, was it? No, it was metal. Metal. And then... Lead. And lead. Oh, that was in the far back of the thing, actually. Urch, urch, urch. Oops, wrong one. Block, metal block, metal block. Okay, what was right in the center, though? Probably metal. No, I don't think there was. Let me not complicate that too much. If I can help it, I don't want to crowd this thing and as much as I can help it <laughs> as much as I can help it what do we have in the back here ah it's the interface screen I never really use those all that much I guess it just kinda shows what kinda damage the thing does and it is really heavy on explosive damage when my current preference is along the lines of armor piercing. So I think I'm going to remove the entire central blocks of explosive rounds and replace them with armor piercing. Okay, let's go custom cannons, armor piercing warheads. Hello? What the hell is this? Oh, that's gauge increases. Interesting. Okay, I'll use shift replace. Okay, those are all replaced. Now let me take a look at these. Ammo in a lot of boxes. Whoops, I didn't mean to control it like that. You can see that this thing's definitely a lot more... A lot faster in its movement now because I've removed all that. Let's see how well it fires. Still really stable. I really like how stable it is. Obviously a turret wouldn't be moving this fast. I'll replace the armor as soon as I can, you know, get some spare. But I want to keep this thing relatively intact without, you know, too much issues. Uh, let me go ahead and place blocks. Middle block, middle block. I'll give it a little bit of a top at least. To kind of hold it together. Without any hassle. Okay, that works for me. That's good. So let me go build... E, constructibles, or save sub objects. Let's go. Let's 
So that's a massive triple stur turret that's been stripped. Stripped down to its bare bones. Alright, so we now have something that will cost a lot less, and I might be able to actually plop it on that beast. Let's see exactly how much we uh, drained this sucker here. Single player, load game, load game. This cannon is looking pretty badass though one way or the other. Eventually I will get all that back attached to it. I'm even going to attach some uh, rubber blocks to the bottom to make it so that it won't, you know, damage anything. Now the question here is going to be how forward do I place this thing? So let me save over for a second. I may have to reload that depending. Okay, let's try the last part. I don't know, yeah, the first part of the second last block, I think. Okay, constructible, little sub object, here we go. Yeah, the last section of the second last block. No, we can move that forward more. Now let's see if it will refund everything if I remove this. It does. I have to shove this off, I think, somehow. Now let me just reload it and be faster that way without having to screw around with it any. So it can be a lot more forward than that. It seems so. We'll go right here. Oh, that looks good. Hmm. Or does it? It's debatable. Um. I'm just going to say, yeah, that looks good and go with it. So I'll have to have one, you know, to the back and above it later as well. Build. Let's go blocks, wood blocks, wood blocks. Let me turn on mirror mode. Okay. Now, I'll have to give that thing a little bit of room, enough to move around it a bit. How wide is that? So about yay. Leaves me a little bit of railing space. How many blocks wide is this thing, give or take? So about 11, give or take. What have I got here? So that's about how wide this thing is going to be. The uh, base that I put the second one on. Alright, so this is going to have to be the, the center of the ship, I guess, right here. And then we'll have another bit in the back here. So let me see if I can set that up in the back here correctly. Let's see. So... So that's about 11 from the front, give or take. So we'll say... We'll put the back one right there. That's going to be the central point of the back one. Alright. So everything is going to be going up front here. Give or take. I'm trying to, trying to space everything out here correctly, but it's going to be difficult. Obviously we're going to need a lot more metal, so I'm going to have to get a lot more, uh, get a lot more fighting done. Let me make sure that those scrap uh, 
Hey, I almost wish I could uh, convert backwards now, Dane. That's the sad part. Okay, it is turned off. Yeah, I either wish that there was some court side, in, uh, some kind of traitor. That's what we need. Actually, I think I'm going to mention that to him. That might be a good idea. To have a neutral NPC trading rates. Or trading faction that we can trade various types of scrap or crystal for other materials. Because, you know, when it comes to the campaign, we're, you know, always low on one material or another. For me, it's always metal. Every single time. It's metal, metal, metal. So... That might help alleviate that issue. Let's check the map, though. Where did I leave the fleet? There they are. So I'll have to continue pressing the enemy. Actually, let me return the area map and check this one out. Ooh, they do have a better fleet there. Oh, wow. You have some strong-looking fleets. So, either way, I'm going to have to go get some more metal here to build this Goliath. But let me see if I can get a rough idea of where the heck I'm getting all this stuff, though. So the front edge of this starts from, let's see here, so... So on the 14th block behind it... So there we go. Mirror mode. Alright. That's So that should be the position of the cannons. So we have this entire central area here to set up whatever we want for a deck or whatever we want for our command section. I can add all sorts of stuff in here. I'll probably add... This will be the front, so I'll probably have it sort of more towards the front here. Though I'll leave a bit of a gap, like we did with the previous area. Okay. So... What are we, what are we talking about here, though? Is it... We'll say four blocks. I got three on this side. Let's go three. Just because that's the way I set up the other side. Okay. I'll make this... Actually, no, it's about the same now, isn't it? Alright, so this is going to be our central cabin that's going to have our AI and everything else. Hmm... Do I want to hook up the AI mine for a mainframe now? or I'll, No, I think I'll leave that as my last part. And honestly, there's only certain things I'm going to want to be controlled. Like, for the most part, I want to almost use my weapons myself in this... But it's debatable. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I may have the may I controlled. I may not. Uh, I'm also going to have the missile bay back here. So let me build this up a little bit. I want to know how high I'm going to have to have this. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to have to widen the boat a little bit more. This isn't bad, but I'm going to make it at least one more high. Which is going, going to mean the command deck is going to be even higher than this. One block up. Yeah, that'll fit perfectly, I think. Right like that. I can even add in more ammo here if I so desired. So that's about yay high, give or take. For both of these. Yeah, 
That seems about right. Yep, that's perfect. So it's gonna have to be yay high. Alright. And that should allow the cannons to fire over top of each other without any issues. Love using up this much natural. Of course, this is a you know makes very poor defensive material, but hey, I'll use whatever I gotta use at this point. But yeah, we gotta go kill some more enemies and get some more metal. So that'll be mounted right about there, I think. So yeah, five in the front, six in the back. That sounds good. Let's see if we can get the dead center of this guy here. Well, obviously. Five, six. It's not dead, dead center, because it's 11, not 10. But, you know, we got what we got. We gats what we gats. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to have the back portion of this command deck is going to be filled with missile tubes. There'll be some pretty decent missiles. I'm not going to fire them often. They're going to be expensive. They're going to be big ones. Um, they're going to probably have one turns IR and I don't know. If I could get both an IR, oh, that's the one thing. I wish I could get both an IR and a laser designator so that I can, you know, designate a target, give or take, and then let the IR take over at a certain point. I'll have to test it a lot because it'll be debatable. I could either go with a one turn and then an IR, or I could go with something else. Because I seem to have problems with a, using a one turn and an IR, or infrared. Because when you put the one turn on, it seems to want to complete its full turn and go forward like, you know, you want. But then it just doesn't seek the target properly. Either it ran out of fuel making that turn, or, you know, for one reason or another, it doesn't just get it done. So, I had many issues with one turns and the co combination of that, which is why I preferred missile turrets. You paint, you aim, you fire, you have no problem, it's going to hit, kind of thing, you know? You don't have to worry about the technicalities of it. Alright, boys. Let's stretch this baby out, shall we? I'm going to stretch it by two blocks. Let me go back here. Let's go wood beams. In which case... It's going to be a little off, but I'll fix the rest of it later. Too far. Whoops. Remove that. Thank you. Down. Up, down, left, right, sideways. Perfect. Ah, yeah, I love beams. They make things a lot quicker. Hmm. Weird. Apparently I was slightly off with this one. Gotta have that conformity. Conformity. 
Or uniformity, I guess is the term for that. Either way. Need precision. Ding. And that extends it by two blocks as I had intended. Of course, now the big part would be extending the rest of this properly. I think if I go like this, actually, not only would I make it perfectly even, well, that one's not stretched out. Let's try this. stretch quite a bit. And I would only have to do it the once on the one side. I wouldn't have to screw around with it any. Lovely. That might actually work really well. Of course I have to go down each and every layer though, which is going to suck a little bit, but hey. Once I'm done, we have an inner layer, we have an outer layer. And the ship just, you know, had a huge size increase. Technically, I wouldn't even have to do this with the whole thing, but I'm going to. Just for, again, uniformity. We might make sure everything's just perfectly even. Alright. Give or take. Symmetry! Symmetry for the win. Huzzah. And for all the people that watch this that have, you know, major OCD and keep, you know, tearing... Have to, you know, I've teared out like half your hair watching my videos. Going like, oh god, it's so... Oh no, it, oh, it looks terrible. It's so uneven. Oh, Silver, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing to us? You know. So, yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. Hee hee. Ah, beautiful. Let's make sure that... Uh, okay, I was worried there'd be a gap there. Getting there. Almost. Slow and steady. Oh man, this thing looks beautiful like this, doesn't it? It just looks really nice with these beams. I like it. <clears throat> anyway. Alright, we're definitely getting slimmer. And almost done. And this should also, I think, um, actually probably not, no. Whoops. I'll have to modify the back to be similar to this now. And we're almost done. This is going to have a lot of balance to it when I'm done. And if I wanted to extend this out further, I could do it. Let me actually go... There we go, get some more lead blocks down there. And there we go, we have the, uh, oops, oh, and I'm falling. I'm falling, no. Yeah, I really like how that looks there. Nice, good solid beamed ship. Obviously we got the back here we could still fix, but hey. That is simple enough. And it looks like I don't have mirror mode on anymore, so I'll have to just do it. There you go. Pardon me. 
So, we have all these lovely beams poking out now. And, yeah, no, it looks good. Looks good. Alright. Now, obviously this thing is not complete, but let's see what happens when I disconnect this thing and see if it holds on, or holds on if it still floats fairly well. Oh, not bad, not bad. And of course, this isn't even all the weight yet. And imagine if I hook this thing up to a uh, block controller and then tell it to disable the buoys, or the buoyancy, if I ever figure out how to exactly do that, we would have our own sub-battleship. Which would be crazy and awesome at the same time. So... Obviously, the main order of the day is I need a F ton more metal. A lot, a lot, a lot more metal. And the only way I'm going to get that kind of metal is if I go out and fight my enemies and blah, blah, blah. So, let's remove you, my friend. I have no honest use for you right now. Let me move you back. A little vulnerable right there, my friend. Then again, the whole front, the whole section of this thing is vulnerable. Actually, the ship is a little bit in need of modification, I'll say. Lots and lots and lots of modification. Uh, let's see. Let's just go ahead and remove these, as per usual. Let's go and grab some wooden beams. Alright. Up, remove that. Engines, engine block. Was it a block that I needed, or... Oh, no, there it is. There's the engine. So, yes, it is the engine block. Well, in that case, let me start... No, I can't start with the crankshaft. I have to start with the engine block. So, let's go and cylinder... So, this could be easy now, doing it this way. Cutting it... Cutting all the time I spent on this in half, at least... Carburetors. Basically, I'm adding more engine to this beast because it's going to be having a bunch of new items, such as the heat decoy and stuff like that. Uh, shield generator. Let me actually... Give me a second here. I have to go locate another tissue box as I'm currently out, and I need to blow my nose. So, one second. I'll be back. Apologies. Had to run up two flights of stairs to grab these. <laughs> well, actually, no, technically three flights of stairs. Ah, there we go. Much better. I can breathe again. Huzzah! Okay. Um, blocks, wood block, wood beams. <laughs> Pardon me. All right, engines. <coughs> Again, goddammit. 
Ah. And the last one's going to be superchargers. Let's get our back up for a second. Oh, wait, the fuck? Thought something was weird there. Oh, I see the problem was. Forward, please. Thank you. Okay, good. Perfect. <laughs> Pop that in place. I could even widen the back end here if I want to, which I think, you know what, I do. Except it's not going to fit properly if I do it that way. Let me start on this end. Good. Actually, I won't, to be honest, it looks weird, but that's going to be fixed here. Okay, so let's go water, air pump. All I really need is the one. I really don't need to get too, you know, mind blowing with it. Let's just go ahead and extend that out by one. Whoops. Okay. We have a nice looking boat. Except for one slight issue. Blocks. Stone block. And stone block. All right. Now, water, boat propeller. I can almost get a huge boat propeller on this thing. All right, let's get our rudders. And I'll put another rudder up here. Okay, now, blocks, wood block, wood block. Let's go ahead and close that in. All right, so we have a huge ass engine now. Let me go ahead and add my new missile turret on this beast. So, constructibles, 360 turret, 360 turret. Same basic design as always. Missiles, torpedoes, missile controller, six-way connector, couple of launch pads. Let's get a missile laser emitter set up here. Now, okay. Now let's see about messing around with these. Go short range thruster. I want, let's see, we scroll up, two fins, four fuel tanks, a lot of fuel tanks, mm. proximity fuse, I'll put that near the front, I am looking for fragmentation, proximity fuse, and infrared, IR seeker. There we go. Let's set the angle. Let's say a 30 degree angle for the shot. Give or take. 31, good enough proximity fuse. It's going to detonate at a range of 2. Okay. Let me save this design.
Okay. Back. Q. Load. Load. Now, it won't be very fast, that's for damn sure. But it should have the fuel. Let me test this baby out out back here if I can. Oh, Jesus. This thing really, really, really hates being turned around the backwards completely. Let's see how far this thing goes. Oh, yeah, baby. That's gonna have the fuel it needs to go as far as it needs to. It's not very fast, but you know what? Who gives a shit? It's amazing. I love it. I love it. Okay. Let me modify you, though. You're gonna rotate on two, and you're going to fire on two. That way I don't have you constantly spinning around in my face when I- well, actually, no, all still works for everything. And it always starts on all, so either way it's gonna drive me freaking crazy. Anyway, I missed one very important part for this. I want the identify friend or foe add-on, so it will not destroy my own ships. And the staggered fire add-on, which I will increase to its maximum of a 0.5 delay. Yay! Completed. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, I think it's about time I move my command deck up and all this stuff out of the way. So I want to extend that a little bit, if I can. Oh yes. Time to extend this beast a little bit and give it some more juice. Alright. Um, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Blocks, wood block, wood block. So, it's a st something I do every now and then. So, I'm trying to adjust myself up here. Let me use this length here. Let me quickly set the duplication. Or mirror mode, I mean, not duplication. It's like, what the hell am I smoking? Alright, that should be good, right? Right about here. Urge up. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here at all. Whoops. So this is going to be where I store all my ammunition and fuel and everything. I'll bring it down one more. And then, oops, seal it off. That dead center should start draining away all this. Not that it matters. I should probably even remove that. Because otherwise it's going to... Yeah. Otherwise it's going to drain, uh, drain it all away. And I really don't think that's a good idea. That would raise everything up and I want to keep it low. So, fuel storage. First thing. 
let's get the fuel processor. Okay. And the important one. Ammo barrels. Easiest way if you want to store ammo barrels where they'll never get hit is just, you know, put it deep underwater underneath the ship. And of course you could armor this if you wanted to. But it'll be weighed down and weighted by the fact that these guys are going to be extended a bit. Now, let's go ahead and remove this for a second. Let's see what I got to deal with here. I see. So, simple weapons, drill, power input. Was it power input? I think so. Yep, power input. Let's go torque amplifier. I've actually extended this, haven't I? Oh, I have. Which means... One second, let me replace this with wood for a second. Let me get dead center. Oops, didn't mean to remove that bit, but that's okay. Okay, where are you, my friend? There you are. There you are. So! Ooh, actually, I do have that there, don't I? Let me go ahead and... Oh, I actually have one down there, too. Beautiful. So, let's go simple weapons. Drill. Power input. So I can increase the power of this mighty machine. And it should have duplicated on the other side. Get some more torque amplifiers. Increase that beautiful armor penetration goodness. I could extend this further if I wanted to, but I won't. Oh, one second. I do not want to obscure this entirely as I do still need to be able to see where the damn controls are at. If I can't turn it on, then that would be bad. Oh, what the fuck. Oh, I hate it when you do that. I really do. It likes to flip itself every now and then, just to piss me off. I swear. Ugh. So I guess I'll put my command chair right here then. Well, I didn't really mean for that to happen precisely, but hey. That's right, flip your ass over. Got all that back. Okay. Clearly, we need a better keel. keep that from happening. Ding! There you go. That'll weigh your ass down. Oh, God! And I'm down here. Whoops! I got thrown right off. And holy crap, I'm a little bit high. Down we go. Ooh, I'm already approaching my hour almost, and I've only been playing around with this. Ah, well, it's fine to play around with this. So, let's go control. Vehicle controller, vehicle controller. Control chair. Oh, fuck me. Damn it. Blocks. 
glass. No, I'm not going to build that there. I don't want to disrupt it any further than I already have. So, one of the main things that we're going to need here that's going to assist this machine is going to be, of course, the shield projector. We want it to reflect. It's going to be fairly wide. Wide enough to cover the whole thing. And I want it elevated at a nice backwards angle. All the way, baby. Let's lower your range. Raise your height. And that looks beautiful. Looks absolutely beautiful. Okay. And let me increase your power. That doesn't do too much to this. Now, I need... A little bit of a, uh, here we go, air heat decoy. That'll attract any missiles to that machine right there. If I had an anti-laser or anti-missile laser set up, I could probably have it, you know, designate to that coordinate. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how I can make this drill even more badass. I could probably put one above right here if I wanted to. Uh, but it wouldn't be wouldn't be far enough away, I don't think. Let's go. Simple weapons, drill. Drill extension. looking for a vertical or horizontal? I don't think it matters. Actually, it does. I need horizontal. Damn it. There we go. Vertical. Let's see if that's low enough or I might need one more. Nope, it's not low enough. I need one more. So let's go drill extension. And actually, you know what? Let me remove that for a second. Get dead center again. Mirror mode. Vertical splitter. Of course, that's going to be enough for it. Can I really not remove that one more? Vertical splitter. Huh. Oh, I see what the problem is. I see indeed what the problem is there. It's not going to fit well, is it? Well, you know what? Screw that then. Let's. Oops, I did not mean to cancel it entirely. That was not my intention. A uh, drill bit large. If I have to, I'll use freaking small drill bit, but... Oh no, that's good, that's good. So, one extension. Or was it two extensions? I guess it was already doubly extended. And a vertical splitter. Then a large drill bit. There we go. That gives us some uh, epic drills down below. I could put another one right here if I wanted to. So anything below us is going to get chewed up as well. Hmm. There's a lot of ways I could hook this up. I'm just trying to debate on what, how I want to do it. I guess that's good for now. Let me turn, well, before I turn it on, let me get seated. Back this baby up a bit. 
as I don't want it to destroy this whole thing. There's definitely something that's unbalanced about this. I think I see a problem here as well. Let me move the range of this out a bit more. I think it's actually interfering with my... Not too much. But I think it's interfering with the, uh, with this guy. And I don't want that to happen. Okay, anyway, sorry, getting distracted here. Blocks, lead block. Yeah, for some reason it wasn't really keeping all that balanced. But let's turn this on and see what happens. Not bad, she's spinning pretty quick. Whoops. No. Let's go mirror mode. Alright, simple weapons, drill. Now I need to go forward one more, I guess. Hmm. Unless I just do small drill bits. That would do it. I'll just do a drill extension and a drill bit. It's a large one, well... Actually, yeah, a large one looks not too bad there, like that. Eh, yeah, works for me! Works for me. Actually, I have an idea here to make this... Get it's like, well... Do I want to do that? I'm thinking I could extend the back here, back, and then a vertical splitter, and then have another, you know, one right up top, kind of like this, flat, if I wanted to. I would have to destroy a little bit of portion of the top here, but I would, you know, it would fit. But I think I'm just going to leave it at that for now. So next time, I'm going to call it here right now. Let me save the game. We got a good bit of progress done on our battleship. We got it generally planned out for the most part right now. We upgraded our, uh, our drill rig here. Let me actually save this constructible. The shredder. Anyway, um, yeah, we have this generally set up now. Everything works. It looks nice. Let me see. It seems to be providing an ap ample amount of torque to these. That makes me happy. We'll see how it runs and see. Actually, as a matter of fact, I want to go and add on more propellers here quickly. Might actually be too much. I hope not. Let's take a quick test run here to see. Because I don't have it saved. Oh, it seems to be working really well. Except for that. A little too much power, it seems. It's dragging me under. Has so much power, it's actually forcing it under. So, no. I'm gonna have to just use what I have. And maybe move a lot of those uh, 
thrusters I have on the sides, on the front sides there, move them down below to the to this giant beast here. That would probably make the difference. So we'll remove them from the front and we'll put them down here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Have yourselves a great one. See y'all next time. Dragon out. Peace.